The University of the Western East St. Augustine campus launched its first Level 2 230-volt electric vehicle charging station on December 10, 2019. The station is the first of its kind in Trinidad and Tobago that has been successfully installed and inspected by the Ministry of Public Utilities Government Electrical Inspectorate. So this really represents a tangible output that can assist with some of the research initiatives. That's why we decided to embark on this challenge and ensure that this faculty and this campus now has an inspected level 2 electric vehicle charging station. It is located near the south gate entrance to the campus at the Faculty of Engineering and allows electric vehicles to fully charge in just over four hours. To make this groundbreaking project a reality, the UE's Faculty of Engineering partnered with Massey Motors, Valak Power and Energy Solutions, the Government Electrical Inspectorate, and the Electric Vehicle Company of Trinidad and Tobago. So, the St. Augustine campus is the e-mobility hub for the center, the Caribbean Center for Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency. Now, where that puts us, particularly here at the Faculty of Engineering, where we do electric vehicle research, is a good opportunity to ensure that we could demonstrate and showcase our leadership in the field with state-of-the-art research. This project will assist the Faculty of Engineering in further research on e-mobility, including the impact on the nation's power system and the conversion of gasoline and diesel engines to electrical powertrains. Future plans for this project includes employing renewable energy technologies to power the electric charging stations. If we take a step back, what the electric vehicle offers us is a chance to reduce our carbon emissions, it offers us a chance to have improved health benefits, we have improved environmental benefits, and therefore improved our standard of living. We also have improved efficiencies, and most of all, with the inclusion of re renewable energy, it can help us with energy security. So the dependency on fossil fuels for transportation can be significantly reduced.